Hello everyone, Tim here. We are going to do an impromptu little shopping trip slash a haul. I'm helping my friend Jess with her booktube channel she just started up. So I wanted to record some stuff for her at Barnes & Noble. And Barnes & Noble being the Criterion sale right now, one thing led to another. And I've got my own footage to show as well. So join me along. I'm going to show you the footage I got from yesterday. And I uh, got some really cool stuff. We ended up doing Barnes & Noble, Target, and Walmart. Three stores. Super quick. Grab some good stuff. All right, so we're going to head on in. Like I said, the intention was to film a video for Jess, not to go shopping for myself. But I still found my way to the back in the record and Criterion area. And yeah, man, the, the prices just caught my eye immediately. Pulling out records under oath. That under oath record's a fantastic. 25% off is good. 50% off that Bright Eyes album. A lot of 50% offs. Uh, a lot of 25% offs, but especially a lot of $5 ones. Uh, not all of it was my, my jam, not all of it was my cup of tea, but you can't deny $5 is crazy good, especially when you add in a discount on top. Good stuff in there. There's Tori Amos, this uh, Lady Gaga, and Tony Bennett, tons of Adele. Like, it's not like it was all just like bargain binny type stuff, so... Shockingly good stuff for the records. I also have to say, I'm shocked they carry like a lot of stuff I really dig, like Asking Alexandria, Atreyu. That's heavily type of stuff I listen to on a regular basis. But we are now into the Criterion. You know, this would be the meat and the potatoes of a normal video. But again, this store... I just showed you guys this store the other day. It Not much has changed. The selection is pretty lacking. So it's not like I'm showing, oh, boom, look, there's tons more. No, it's, it's actually less than it was before, to be honest. But it doesn't change the fact that there was some interesting stuff. Like, I don't think I ran across cat people last time I was in there. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed it. Uh... But yeah, it, it's it's not a great Criterion selection. Hence, I'm gonna work my way into another store before the end of the sale. I also love always going over into the the magazine area to look at like the horror magazines like Horror Hound, the Evil Dead 2 on the freaking cover. Love looking at the Fangoria. Abigail was a pretty entertaining movie. But now it's time to head over to Target, which is normally not much to, not, not much to speak on. But they had Twister, and Walmart didn't have Twister when I looked on Tuesday. So I was excited about that, you know, so the whole 15 movies that they carry, exaggeration, but it ain't much, like, you're looking at the whole selection, but now it's heading to, it's the Wilkes-Barre Walmart, which is not one I go to on a regular basis, and it was, again, pretty lackluster, but it did have some stuff that my local store did not have on Tuesday, so... That's something. Like, it had Twister here. My local one didn't have it uh, have it on Tuesday. So, eh, I mean, I walk away with something. I guess that that's something to be happy about. But I wish there was more consistency with a Walmart. Best Buys were not great stores for physical media. But there was more consistency among them than Walmart. But it is what it is. Not going to cry over spilt milk. I'm just going to find what I can find and... That's about it. Okay, so I have movies to show and records to show. And I'm going to actually start this off with the records first because they're immediately next to me. And the pricing. I mean, I, I already mentioned in the video, $5 records. Freaking insane. And not just, they ended up being less. If you can see on the receipt, the $5 records after the discount and all that ended up becoming like $4.05. Absolutely just bonkers. 
So record-wise, we're going to start with this. Absolutely insane. So we got this giant Billy Joel box set. Look how thick that is. How many records are in this? Eight records. Eight Billy Joel records in here. It's big. This thing was $260.99 at first, but then 75% off plus additional discounts. We got this for, let me look, $52.83. $52.83 for an eight LP giant Billy Joel box set. That's absolutely wild. And then these other ones, $4.05 per record. This just started yesterday. Uh, so Friday the 12th, it just started. So go to your local Barnes & Noble if you are a record collector because you might find some cheap ones. AFI Bodies, $4.05. It was $25.99 originally. $4.05 after discount. Uh, we've got Garbage. I like Garbage. Uh... $42.99 originally, $4.05, uh, <laughs> unreal. The soundtrack, the score to No Time to Die, $35.99 original, $4.05. <laughs> and this one doesn't shock me as much, but Adele 30. I like Adele a lot, beautiful voice. They massively overprinted this record. It's way too much. This thing was in discount bins all around, but still not for $4.05. I saw this more discounted to like $10 often, but $39.99 original, $4.05. And then for the movies, I did end up grabbing Cat People. Freaking cool. This was, they must have, I was just at Barnes & Noble for a prior you know, shopping trip for Criterion. I missed it, or this wasn't there. They definitely, they adjusted stuff around, and there was a couple of titles I saw that weren't there last time, so this might have been a new shipment in. But I wanted Cat People. This was on my on my wish list, so very happy to pick that one up. That is awesome. So that is the sole Criterion pickup from that store. Uh, I'd pick up more if they had more, but we're going to a bigger store shortly. Uh, before the sale's done. Uh, then we went to Target was the next one. My local Walmart, when I went to check on release day, did not have this. The Steelbook, I missed pre-ordering it. Whatever. I guess I just overall missed it. It is what it is. I don't I'm the, I don't care. It, I just really wanted Twister on 4K. And I watched it last night. And holy shit, is this a phenomenal 4K. It is so freaking good. It looks beautiful. We watched it on the surround sound. If I felt like my house was going to freaking, you know, shake apart during the tornadoes. This this movie is so intense with the surround sound, the Adobe Atmos. Insane. Excellent 4K. One of the best of the year. Insane. It's just mind-bogglingly awesome. Uh, <laughs> I loved it. I love that movie. It was so good. And then, I like Guy Ritchie. I don't know shit about this besides I like Henry Cavill. I like Guy Ritchie. So, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. It looked good. So that's what I'm kind of going off of. It, it was solid, the 24 and change at Walmart. So three movies, some records, little impromptu trip. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. If you're a record person, go check Barnes & Noble, though. Those prices are insane. Please go check there if you're a record person. Let me know down below if you nabbed anything for really good prices. And if you enjoyed this, uh, please leave a subscribe, a comment, and all that stuff. That would greatly help the channel. And, you know, I'll see you in the next one.